You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I truly appreciate it. Excited to check out another item from the racks on my left. And if you don't know what that is, you just got to go back video by video by video. And there's a video where I show you two racks of items that still needed to be put on video that have been there for quite a long time. They kept getting overlooked because I was finding other items and then seasonal items came in and they just, uh, that pile grew and grew. So this is one of the single player games. It is a Falling Marble Logic Game from Think Fun called Gravity Maze. Build a path through the towers to get the marble to the target and you win. Now this was one of those bin day items. Probably picked it up at a garage sale or a state sale and have not been able to show you the game. Let's check it out now. There are 16 beginner to expert challenges. I'm not 100% sure what is going on, but it looks like they drop the marble here and it rolls into here, then it rolls into there, rolls into there, rolls into there, and you gotta work your way out based on the challenges on the cards. It looks pretty fun. Let's check out the back of the box, which is the wrong way. Okay, let's see. This gravity power logic maze is sure to put your visual perception and reasoning skills to the test. The towers can be arranged in a wide variety of visually stimulating structures, but for each challenge, you'll have to think carefully to build a path that will carry your marble to the target tower. To start, select a challenge card and place the towers on the grid as indicated, okay? Your goal, create a maze that will carry a marble from the start position to the target tower. You get 60 challenges with four levels of play, beginner, intermediate, advanced, and expert. And then they give you a little tidbit here. I call that tidbit of information. One, two, three, let's see. Select a challenge and set up the towers on the game pad and the game grid to match. Determine where to add the indicated towers to the grid. Okay, so the bottom left corner shows you the towers you need to add. Position the towers so that the marble falls from the start position to the target tower and you win. And that's everything that's included right there. And then it looks kind of colorful too, so I can't wait to check it out. So let me do that next. Let me bring the box a little bit closer, change my camera angle, and we'll see all the parts. All right, let's see. Now sometimes I, ooh, I like that sound. Sometimes I go through these before I make a video. Uh, and I, I might have gone through this, I don't remember. But it looks like there are nice little black rubber feet on the bottom, so I, I kind of felt it when it sat on my tabletop. And then these are the towers. Now it said there's nine of those towers. Here's the cards. I have not counted them, but I'll probably need to do that because part of me making the video is also making sure I have all the pieces. And then here are three marbles. So you've got this really cool blue tower. Okay, so I don't know which way they go yet. So it looks like you can put it that way and then you drop a marble from there to there. And this one will drop down and go out there. So I'm kind of, kind of getting the concept here. And you've got an orange tower, another three level orange tower. So the first blue tower is one, two, three, four, five. Now these don't come apart, so they are in that position. And then you have one, two, three, four on the green. Then you've got two matching orange. And another green. Okay, another green. And then two purple. You got the poiple there. And then these little clear ones are almost like a, a grayish color. And then one of these. This must be the exiting point. Okay, so let's see. Nothing on the inside cover. On the older games, the instructions usually were on the inside cover. There's the instruction. So let's just, let's do this. Let's count the cards before I even begin to do anything else. 60 challenge cards. So let's take a quick look at some of these. So ooh, let's now look at the solutions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Those are the experts. And then 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 there, okay? And an intermediate, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 
14, 15. It's looking good. There's 15 in each category, so we need 15 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Every time, anytime you're checking a game, this is the, the critical moment. Is it complete? Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, good. All right, so they're in order. So someone must have bought this and never played it. Let's do that. So we'll put the beginners, intermediates, advanced, and expert. Well, let's start with a beginner. So now you put, so based on the tray, it doesn't show you any direction, but does the marble have to end here? I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what, now that we've seen all this and done all this, let me grab the instructions. I'll give them a quick little read so I have some information before I start and then we will continue on. Hmm, exciting. Love puzzle games. I find them very challenging. I'll probably do one in each group. I will attempt the most difficult ones. Now look, they give you, oh there's a solution. So the front of the card shows you the three you put down and then these are all the ones you need to use to make it happen. All right? I'll be back. Oh, and these are the little... That's what I was wondering. It kind of fits really nice there. Why is that little spot there? Is that just the holding spot? We shall see. I'll be back. Okay, I am ready to go. I've moved some things around, just kind of checking out the shapes based on the instructions. I've kind of got a good idea now exactly what's happening. That's the ending one. And then this is just your starting spot, or like your holding point for one. The other two marbles are extra, so you don't really need those. And then basically, now the cards. Very interesting the way they do this. Let me read a little bit so you can get a better understanding of what's going on here. All right, so it says, This gravity power logic maze is sure to put your visual perception and reasoning skills to the test. The translucent towers can be arranged in a wide variety of visually stimulating structures, but for each challenge, you have to think carefully to build a path that will carry your marble to its target. 60 challenges ranging in difficulty will give you the plenty of creative building time while you maneuver the maze in your mind. Once you've mastered all the challenges, have fun constructing your own marble mazes and creating a few challenges of your own. Kind of a repeat what we read already. Okay, so that's the marble holder. Now they show it up in the top right, but I'm going to put it here. And then they explain the towers. I have them all laid out, almost like they do, except that one there. That just happened by chance. Okay. And then the cards, they explain the cards. So the object, for each challenge, use the tower shown under Add to Grill to build a maze that will carry a marble from the start position to the target tower. Select a challenge card. Set up the towers on your grid to match the challenge card for the challenge setup. The exact placement and orientation of each tower will be given. Make sure that you position the towers correctly by using the dot marking along the edges of the towers for guidance. Okay, now if you look at these, well, i got to bring this all in closer now. And then I'll zoom in so you can see these little dots. Can you see them all the way around? They're also on the ends, okay? And that is how you're actually placing them. Because if you look at the first card, okay, it shows the red one with two dots like that, all right? So no other combo will work. That's the only way that matches. So you put this in one spot here. Let me zoom out so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. All right, so all these have little dots all the way around to kind of give you a little guidance. And then the next one is an orange and it's standing and they want it this way, okay? And then down here it says add to grid. Now, this does give you a little guide as to if it's laying down or standing up. When you see that, that means it is a laying down, horizontal. And then standing up, let's say a green standing up, like that. That means you'd use two green towers and they're standing up on the advanced. So I know, and this particular one, this is laying down and this is standing up. So I know I have to place these in some order. Now this may not be the starting point, so you have to just really study this. Hmm. Let's read a little bit more. Okay, so sometimes the start position will include a stack of towers like this. So they're showing you some different 
ideas there, different ways this is set up. Now sometimes it's there, okay, so like this actually. So there's three towers. The outside one is the purple, then the next one is the yellowish orange, and the last one is the gray. And I show you how all the dots line up there. The outermost square will always represent the tower placed closest to the grid, and the innermost square will represent the tower placed farthest. The outermost okay, so that's why the purple's on the outside, and that's why it's the lowest. I might have to reference this. Okay, farthest from the grid. In this example, the squares from outside to inside are purple, orange, and gray, so the towers will be stacked with the purple on the bottom, and then orange, and gray on top. Select the towers underneath the words, add to grid, for use in the challenge. Any towers not shown on the card will not be used. Place one of the marbles in the marble holder on the rim of the game grid. Place all the towers shown under Add to Grid build your, to build your marble maze. You must follow the building rules starting on page 7. For the Add to Grid towers, the exact location and orientation of the towers will not be given. That's why you have to solve it. However, you will be told whether a tower should be placed horizontally or vertically. Now, I went over that. Any towers that are placed vertically will be shown like this. Any towers that can be placed horizontally will be shown like this. They give you an example. Once you feel that you've created a successful maze, drop a marble into the start position to watch it go. So it does not look like you can try, attempt, try, attempt, and solve the puzzle that way. I don't know. If the marble ends in the target tower, you win. So you have one chance, is what it sounds like to me. Building rules. Towers shown on the grid in the challenge card illustration must stay in their fixed location and cannot be rotated or moved to different cell. Towers must be connected using the end with the flange so that they snap together. So let's see. So this will snap to this? Yes, I get it now. Okay. So you have to snap it in. So is there a place it doesn't snap in? No, that always snaps in. Okay, so these ends snap into the other ends. Towers can be stacked, but never more than three towers high. Additional towers cannot be stacked on top of the start position or the target tower. Okay. A tower cannot be suspended above the start position or the target tower. Two horizontal towers cannot be stacked on top of each other because there is no flange connection between them together to hold them together. Any horizontal towers that are suspended above the grid must be held up by at least two support towers. Horizontal towers can never hang over, extend beyond the edge of the grid. Okay. A marble can never drop more than one level at a time. A marble can never drop onto a flat. Huh. This must be a flat. That means it would just stop, right? A marble can never travel horizontally across either a flat or a corner, so you cannot go two. All right? If you get stuck, look on the back of the challenge card for the solution. Follow the dot pattern to make sure towers are placed in the correct cell and orientated correctly. At the bottom of each card, you'll see the path the marble takes to get from the start position in the tower, tower, target tower note. For some challenges, there is more than one solution. Create your own challenges. About the inventor, Ali Morris. I've heard that name on other Think Fun. There, you could read that at your leisure if this is going to zoom in and get a nice big picture for you. And that's it. So now I'm looking at this card. And I gotta make this work. And I know this one's gonna be up. But it can't do that. So it has to snap in somewhere. Now, looking at this, I only have a few options. Okay, so is it dropping from here? Because if I drop the marble down now, it's gonna go all the way through that. And then this one's gonna be laying flat. And there's only so many places this will lay flat in directions. It'll fit there, it'll fit there, and it'll fit there. So my guess is one of these is going to have to go there, and one of these there, or there. But it's not going to connect to that. So, hmm. let's try that, and like that. No, that's not going to work. So it looks like, now looking at them, it's hard to see from that angle. There is a straight right through. You see that? So this goes through. All right, so maybe this, no, so this cannot go here. And then it's got to end in this, got to go in this hole here. Now if I only get one try and I can't test, that does make it very challenging. So something's gonna have to drop down 
Ooh, now look at this angle right here. So this would go into there. That would work. No, that won't work. Because the marble's going to drop here and then get lost. Now let's try it this way. Okay, so it's going to drop here and loop around. Now where does this go? If that's right, we shall see. So I want one to go through here, straight through. So it's going to be this, no. It's going to be this, I think. It's going to go floop, 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 floop. Lots of floops going on. Now I guess this does not have to be the start. That makes it extremely, even for a beginner one, they give you the end, but they may not give you the start. Hmm. Let's try. Let's just see. I get one shot. Okay, so I get it. I do find that quite challenging, though. Okay, so there's the solution. Now looking at the dots, let's see. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, all right. So they say there's more than one. So they show it dropping here. Oh, no, wait. I did that wrong. It is the start. So this always has to be the start. So this is going to go from here. There. All right. That makes sense now. So you have to use this as your starting point. And then you can't change the direction of that. Now, I can't put this here because then it would be dropping two levels, right? So it has to go here. So is there another way to do it? No, because the way this one is set, this marble has to drop this way and it has to reach a two. So logically speaking, there's no other way to do this. I find this a little confusing. Okay, let's try another simple one. I'll tell you what, I'm going to readjust here and let's uh, let's get ready to get into this and really hopefully get to one of those expert levels. We shall see. All right, so I have almost moved everything out of the way. I forgot that. So now I'm going to take another card, but this time... Let's do this one. This is a beginner. So the outer one is a purple standing up with well, four dots like this and this one. Okay, so there's two dots here, two dots here, two dots here, and then a green one on top of that with two dots in the same way. So that can only be this way. Now that's a tall tower. Okay, and then this one is this way here. And then I get to use a blue, another green standing up. Oh boy, this is a beginner. An orange, this, and this. You've got to be kidding me. And I've got to end here. Okay, this one might take me a while. Now I know that I cannot drop more than two. And the way this is dropped, it's gonna drop out this side Okay, so it's going to drop out this side. Remember, this has to be my starting point. So I need something that's going to be underneath that. That's going to catch it. Okay, so it's going to drop and it go this way. Okay, so we want it to come this way. So these are all standing up. So let's just see. So then we kind of want it to go probably this way. It's going to go through here. You kind of almost have to stick your finger in there to understand this. I think they're making this rather challenging. So it's going to go from there. It's going to drop into there. It's going to drop into there. Okay, so choo choo choo. And then here, like this. Okay, I think I got it. Now, which is the start? I forgot already. The green. So the purple just gives it the height, but I think it's going to work. Let's see. Got it. All right. Not too bad. Did I break any rules there? Let me know. Let's just check the doohickey here. Okay. So based on the card, I have everything where it is supposed to go based on the dots. Let's see. I mean, it works. So we know 
that the dots are right. So double, 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 and then double, single, double, and then to the end. Okay, all right. So let's, uh, here's what I'm gonna do. After each one, I'm gonna reset, come back, and then I'll pick another card just the way I did it randomly, and I will do it again. All right, that was exciting. Uh, a couple things uh, that I had to figure out. The little dot means that is the where you, that is the where. That is where you drop the marble. So that is the starting point on all of these. All right, I, I think I read it, but it might not have clicked in with my brains. And I thought, well, I'm going to be stopping and going because they're just, you know, background noise while I'm trying to do this. Some of these might take 20 minutes. I have no idea. So I have mixed them up. I am not looking now. My eyes are closed. I'm just reaching in. I'm grabbing one. And I'm going to put that there. And that's the one I'm going to use. And then I will set it. Now, the only thing that may change is the camera angle. But that's going to stay right there. So I need a blue and an orange. And then I need to put an orange. Double, double, double. Double, double, double. So if the sound goes away, it's just because I need to... Okay, wait, this is a double, double, double going down like this. Okay, so I will look at it like this and say, okay, double, 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 single, double, double, double. All right, so if the sound goes away, that's because there's just noise in the background. All right, so the hole to get in is right... Ooh, okay, so it's through here. So the marble's going to have to... Probably start here and get to there. So I'll figure that out. Right now, I may change a camera angle though, slightly. Okay. So, like I said, sound means noise. So, this, well, it's got to get all the way down there, huh? Uh, yeah, that won't work. So, it's got to be the blue. Let me just see what the blue options are. Okay, so the blue option is going to roll. Wait, remember, it starts on the orange. It's going to roll through here, and then I just need it to work its way down to that next section. Okay, so that one doesn't seem too hard. Okay, unless it falls. Okay, so I will... Okay, so it should roll here, drop it through that one, down to that one, drop through that one, hit this one, roll this way, and in to the end. All right, so the thing I'm thinking, though, is that if it doesn't work, then you have failed, right? But let's see. I'll grab the booklet right after this one. Here's the start. Done. All right. Simple enough. Let me uh, move on to one of the advanced, no, the intermediates. Let me do an intermediate. Okay, three beginners done. Now an intermediate. Cut, cut, eyes closed. Just reach in right in the middle and grab that one. Okay, this is my next one. Let's lock it into place on the table. In case I have to stop and I come back, that should be there. I'll try to not change the camera angle. Now it is this one, this one, and orange off to the side. The ending one, and again, if you hear music, it's because just things are loud around here sometimes. And then a purple one, two, 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 here. And then a tall blue one, which is your starter, right here. All right. I will see what I can do with that. Let me just double check. Sometimes it's easier for me to just tilt it like this. Double, double, double. Double, double, double. Double, double, single. All right, so I got to get from here. It's got to go through this one and end up here. Hmm. Now, this one turns this way. So my guess is something's going to go...
Okay, ready for the test. It's dropping down here. It goes through the green one, through the blue one, down into this orange one, turns into the purple one, down into this orange again, into the gray, and into the little uh, finale. Here we go. Cool. I'll give you another angle on that. I'm ready to take on more of a challenge. Oh, that didn't work too hot. Okay. One more time. Uh, let's do it from this side so you can kind of see it going through. That's a pretty neat puzzling game. I will be back now as I drop it off to the side. I'll be back with the harder version now. The advanced. All right, I will probably have to speed this up. It's probably going to take longer than the last few. So this will be extremely fast. Maybe I'll stop at intermittent points and talk or at least at the end before I drop the marble. Oh yeah, I wanted to mention something. So what happens if you do it and the marble doesn't go all the way through? Does that mean you lose and you set that card aside and do the next level? It says if the marble ends in the target tower, you win, which means if it doesn't, you lose. Do you get to reset that one up and keep trying? Or do you come back to that one? That is the question. I don't know. I wish they had a little bit more description there. I mean, can you start building tests, start building tests and see what happens? It does not say. Okay, here we go. Eyes are closed. Just gonna reach in and grab this one. Okay, so I will... Ooh, it's got one horizontal, so a big lane green an orange, and this, and then just this, two, two, one, a two, two, one, two, two, one, going this way. So it's gonna enter here, and then one tall green, double, 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 like this. Okay, that's set. And uh, I will probably definitely have to figure this out, but my guess, is that the first drop is going to be this. Mm. And then that's going to go too far. Okay, rather challenging. Let me double check, because the last time I had it wrong. Okay. Well, that's going to drop. There's no way. That's two levels. So, if I do it this way, it would drop, but not the correct distance. If I go this way, it's going to drop, but it's the wrong distance. Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot. This one's supposed to be flat. Hmm. Alright, it's time to, time to turn the music on. I'm just going to change the angle for you so you can kind of look that way. And I will probably speed this one up. So maybe, no, see, that's a straight drop. That will not work. So it has to be this. Okay, so drops into here, drops into here, drops into here. This is kind of loopy that goes this way, so it loops around that way. Let's see. Got it. An intermediate, just like that. Didn't take as long as I thought it would, but I still... Well, we'll see in editing if I do music or whatever. I'm just kind of giving you a different perspective. Ooh. Okay, I think that's good. All right, so uh, that was advanced. So what's left? Expert. All right, I will come back and do the expert. Okay, all right. The advanced. A little scared of the advanced ones. 
They must be pretty advanced. The other ones did take some time. I think the most was 10 to 15 minutes. I sped all that up, so. Let's just see. All right, it's been shuffled. It's being cut. Okay, I'm cutting right now. And I'm just gonna reach in, that looking, pull out this card. And that's the one I'm going to do. Now, it requires a green, an orange, a purple, and a gray down here. Now the ending one is right here, three over, which means the opening is here. And then a blue tall one, okay, blue tall one. And then it's just got two going this way towards us. And then a double and a single this way. So that means it's dropping out this way and it's not really using any of the blue tower at this point. I'm sure it will at some point. Let's move this all of the way. Okay, let me stick this down. Now, I've been pretty good with the, a uh, couple times I got interrupted in the video just by background noise. I had to stop and I may have made a change there, but the card stayed intact. Stuck down. Just the way it is. Look at all the little piles. That's not going to change. Alright, so this is exciting now. My first advanced. Hmm. No. Not, that doesn't reach. That doesn't reach. This together would reach. And this together would reach. Okay, because it's got to drop down the first. So let's just put this here. No, that won't work. Okay, so that way won't work. This way would work. If I put this down here and set this here, it's gonna go drop down here, okay? And then I'm probably gonna have to go into the tower. Right? But how's it gonna get to there? That's the question. I can get it to here. It's gonna go there. It's gonna go there, drop down, go there, come out here. Mm. Mm. No. There's no way that's an advanced. Wait, goes here, drops down here, goes down here, comes in here, crosses over here, drops into here. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, that's a problem. Then it's going to drop down here, and it might work. Either I got 100% lucky, I had to have just gotten lucky. Well, let's try it. Oh, there's no way. Okay, I think just by whatever chance that I put the tr first two in the correct spot and that helped me get through the whole process. I, I don't know. Okay, well, I think I need to try it again. Let me try one more time. Yeah, all right. Let me come back, I'll try another advanced expert, I mean. I don't know, you tell me. All right, so I'm beginning to think that maybe uh, if you just get those first few starters in the right one, in the right order, you only had two options to start. It was either the green one and the gray one, or the other two colors, the uh, orange and the purple. Those are your only two options. Say, so I don't know if they, I don't know. I got lucky. All right, here we go, eyes closed. Eyes closed. Open up and look at that. Oh boy. Hmm. That one doesn't look fun. All right, so double, double, single going this way. Okay. And then let's keep it that way. And then a double, double, double of the green going this way in the same row. And then on top of that is a purple double, double, double going this way. Okay, so it's got to start here and it's got to get to here. So that direction. All right. 
Double check, double, double, single, yes. Double, double, double. Double, double, double. Okay. All right. Well, now I'm feeling overconfident. This is number 59. That was number 46 in the experts. I have no idea. Okay. Now, if this one takes me two hours, I, I know it was just a fluke. All right, so now I'm allowed to use a blue standing up, a green, this, and two grays. Okay, so this is what I'm allowed to use. Let me move this a little further back. There. Okay. Right, so it's got to drop down here and get to here. It's all on the same side. Now, like I was saying earlier, it's got to be like... If we go this way, it goes from here, drops into here, okay, and then drops into here. It's going to come out here, drop into here. Okay, see, I'm already overconfident now. Overconfident. Now I'm stuck. Okay, so that's not it. So I didn't get lucky. Now the only other option for here, see that won't work. So this is the only option here. So I was going this way. Let me go this way. I was trying to bring it so that it swooped down into that tower. Now let's say the next one swoops down in. Go from here to here to here, cross over through here, come out here, cross over here. Now that's crazy. Mm hmm. Wait. Here to here to here, cross through, come out here. Go across here, and it's going to come out here. Oh, and i got to get to there. Oh, that's a problem. I thought I had it again. I got that there. Okay, that's not it either. All right, I think it's time. Time for the music. And I will continue on and see if I can get this one, how long it takes. Well, that's a bummer. When this fell over, I set this wrong. So this was facing the wrong way, which would mean I would probably never solve it. So now I'm basically restarting over. And I'm definitely struggling on this one. And I just haven't found the lucky position of the next piece of what's going on here. I'm sensing that it's got to come down here from here to here and then go into here. And maybe somehow cross through. I don't know. As stated, I am struggling. See, now this isn't high enough to reach that next level. And it's got to end up at the opening here. So this can end up this way or this way. 
have not figured it out yet. All right, let's cue the music. Okay, so it's been about a half hour. I officially have given up. I think I'm over puzzled for the day. It's almost too puzzling. One time it fell over and then I had it wrong, so that kind of made me a little, uh, hmm, spent a lot of time for nothing. All right, here we go. So we're going to turn this over. Oh, you know, I had this too. Okay, I had a similar combo with this one. Oh no, green on the outside. I hate to throw in the towel, but I just threw in the towel. Which is two dots. Green with two dots this way. This on the top. Oh, I was going for that too. I had a feeling it was going to go through this way and through this way. And then it needs to drop down into there. With just the blue. Oh, you know what? I was really close. Okay, so it's going to drop down, wait a minute, two, yeah, all right, so it's going to go this way, this way, it's going to go here, it's going to come out here, okay, and then this one here. So it's going to go here, oh, this is tricky, and it's going to come through here, through here, oh, man. I probably would have eventually got it. And this one goes double, double, single. No, oh, that can't be it. Yeah, double, double, single. Double, double. Oh, this way, like this. I get it now. Okay, now I get it. You know, I was close. I did a lot of the blue tower here, but I was thinking, ah, maybe not. And I had a feeling it was going to do some kind of loopy loop de loo Here we go. Oh, wait a minute. This one's right. This one's not right. No, that one's right. That one's right. Let's try it again. Sometimes it just doesn't make it. There you go. Okay. Well, time to wrap it up. I think I've had hour plus trying to figure this out. Some of the other ones, look how complex this is. This one's laying down 
and then two on top of two oranges. Wow, look at that. I'm glad I didn't get those. So I got lucky on one, and then one at least a half hour, maybe 45 minutes trying to solve it. All right, well, there you go. I had fun. It's called Gravity Maze. You know, I might put this up by the dining room table and everybody can sit down and give it a try. Maybe someone else can do an expert. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making it. Gravity Maze. Let me know what you think. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.